Now that we have created our simple malware application, let's start Apache server on Kali Linux and let's move the Trojan to that server. And then let's look at how we can get that Trojan onto a victim's machine, in our case, a machine in our test environment. So the first step would be to then load up Kali Linux. So to do that, I will open up Kali Linux and I won't go through too much about how to get this onto the server, but I'll just show you how I do it. So let's start Kali Linux. It may take a short while to load up. Just wait for it to all open. And remember what we're doing here is we want to start the Apache server on Kali Linux. We then want to move the malware application that we created to the Apache server and we then want the victims machine to download the game with the malware attached to the game. And we then want to look at how we can then take control or be able to monitor what's actually happening on that victim machine. So let's go in and wait for Kali Linux to load up. Once that has loaded, I will log in with the root username and password. Once we have logged in, we then want to check if the Apache server is running. And I'll show you exactly how we do that in a short while. So here we are logged into Kali Linux. We then want to go in and check whether Apache is installed and whether it's actually running. Let's go to the command prompt, the terminal window. And here, I just want to get the IP address. So ifconfig shows that that this IP address is 192.168.56.102. That will be important shortly. But let's go on and check for the Apache server and the state that it is in currently. To do that, we need the ps command, ps minus eaf. So I'll type that in now and then we'll go on to see whether Apache is running. So PS minus EAF. We then type in grep, G-R-E-P, and we type in Apache to look at the process status. Now to see the running of the actual Apache server, we type in slash etc and we want to then start the Apache, init.d slash Apache2. And let's check the status. We see that it says inactive here, which means it is not running. To get that to a running state, we type in the same command, slash etc, slash init, but at the end of this line, we put in start. Once we have done that, the Apache server will start. It will go through and tell us that the Apache server has started. As you will note here, Apache server is running as indicated in green. And these are the process IDs allocated to the Apache server. If you don't have Apache server on your Kali Linux machine, you can use the apt dash get command install Apache 2. But because we already have it here, we don't need to run this, you may want to run it if you don't have it installed. Now let's move on to create a username and password to access the Apache web server. So we want to go into the vim slash etc Apache 2. And let's have a look at what's available here. You will note that we can look at the Apache 2 conf file. And in the conf file, we want to check if the home directory is located. I'm just looking for that home directory now so we know how to access that shortly. Here we are, var slash www. I will quit the editor and let me go to see what confs are enabled. So I type in conf dash enabled to see what is enabled. 
and I then want to go to the actual path so CD to the particular sorry VAR slash www and here we see the file names I want to make a directory called games that is where we will store our snow game so let's call this games and I then see the folder is there I then want to go to that folder and see what's available obviously nothing in there right now we now want to create a username and password to access this particular server via FTP we will download a client like FileZilla shortly but let's go in and create a username let's call it test for now because we will need to log in with a username and password via FTP to then upload our games file to that particular directory that we just created so to create that we need to create a username and a password so let's see what we can do here slash etc init dot d and we then want to type in ssh to see whether the service is running it's not running so we need to start the service we use the start not restart and yeah you'll see it says active on port 22 that's also important for our FTP client shortly I will be using the free FTP client called FileZilla shortly so this port 22 and a username and password would be important for us to be able to use the FTP program to access this web server so the first thing we want to do is create a username so user add and let's call the user test so we have a username called test and we then want to create a password for that user passwd test and now I'll put in the password to enable login to the Apache server from our FTP client now we have created a username we know the password we have the port number the next step would be to note down the IP address 192.168 56.102 as we'll need to add that to our file FTP client as well so we want to go and download a program called FileZilla this is the version that will be available for Windows XP so let me download that because we want to install it on our Windows XP machine to move that file that we created on that Windows XP machine to our Apache server so let's run this go through the installation and once that has been done we'll then be able to log in to the Apache server with that username password IP address and port number so here we have the FileZilla client just click next a couple times I need to put in the IP address 192.168.0 now oh, unfortunately this machine is not on the same network so let me go in here and change this to host only adapter which then will allow us to reset and renew our IP address so to do that we type in IP config again and we see that IP config slash renew all and that doesn't seem to be working so I'll type in IP config slash renew now this should give us a new IP address on the same network as the Apache server once it has given us a new IP address I'll then be able to log in to that IP address that we had set up earlier on the Kali Linux machine to allow us to move this file to that particular machine here we've got a 103 extension so I can then ping the 102 machine to make sure it is available on the network and here we see the ping is working 
So we can go back to our FTP client, 192.168.56.102. You put in the username and password we created a short while ago. And we need to make sure the port number is 22 so that we are allowed to connect to that particular port. And let's have a look if this works. I just need to click OK here. And that will allow me to go through. Always trust this particular connection. As we can see here, we are in the Apache server. I need to find that directory that we just created. Let's go back to the top level. But for now, we want to get the tools folder, the Snowcraft. We see in that Snowcraft folder, we have Snow Game. So for now, I will stop this video. We have found the file that we need to FTP to our web server. In the next video, I'll start moving that file to the appropriate folder on the server.